Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here. Once again, it is Team Rai Rai. Listeners, before I go any further, anyone on social media had a chance to listen to the podcast from earlier today. If not, tap that bell. You definitely will get a notification. Hopefully, if YouTube's not freaking broken. But regardless, subscribe, leave a comment, positive feedback. On the article from earlier today and the one from right now okay whatever you guys and gals prefer listening to the one from earlier or from right now or you can always subscribe then you will never ever miss any kind of upload same thing if you hit the notification now it is time to discuss once again wrestling news wrestling topics and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you, yes, for you, my listeners. So sit back, relax, be a feed up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't want to do nothing like that, that's fine and dandy. Maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on this certain matter. And the article will be down below. So check it out if anyone wants to read it. Let's freaking roll this. Now, this is a very touchy subject. I will do my best. And probably a lot of you are going to bash me because I am not saying this correctly. I am doing it my way, not the highway. Or actually, I'm doing my way in the highway. Something like that. I know it sounds very stupid. But anyway, WWE has not held a pay-per-view in the UK since 1992. Okay? It was SummerSlam of 92. And that was a very good event overall. There was no social media, nothing, Zippo, okay? I don't know how in the hell they pull off with the time difference back in the day. I don't know how they pull off. Now, I don't know if they ever are going to return to the UK. UK fans deserve a freaking pay-per-view. Like freaking SummerSlam, the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, or even the freaking Survivor Series. The four classic ones, okay? That'd be freaking delightful. I guarantee if UK will ever get a pay-per-view, it'll be a crappy one, okay? But in their eyes, they don't care. The place will go erupted, will be erupted. Okay, here it is. In a recent interview with um, um, Ex- Explos- Ex- I mean, Express, I'm sorry, Triple H spoke uh, about that possibility of UK getting a big pay-per-view event. The ones I just mentioned. That'd be nice. Hopefully it's not teased. The last time that W held a major show in the country was not Madison m- mentioned success from a business standpoint. The last big event in the country took place 92 with SummerSlam, okay? Here is what I had to say. There you go. And it was a very good event. I really wish I attended that, but can you just imagine the airfare from the United States go to the UK? I guaranteed people right now will go to the event from US to UK. Maybe, maybe not. But people from the UK come to the United States for a freaking WrestleMania weekend. And SummerSlam, most likely WrestleMania weekends ever since uh, NXT has been born. So it's going to happen eventually. I don't know when it's going to happen. They say, from the Zarko, Trouble says um, the big, getting the big pay per view event. So does that mean like SummerSlam is going to come there in the future again for the first time since 92? Or Survivor Series, that'd be kind of nice with a great atmosphere. Or WrestleMania, okay? WrestleMania needs be in the UK or the Royal Rumble now the problem is these days you got the freaking internet you got Twitter especially Twitter is a pain in the ass sometimes okay sorry my language I love Twitter but a lot of you out there post some post some stuff we don't want to know until the show's over you know for example if we're all live in the United States why post some stuff the way you guys are so freaking unorganized now, I know th- it could be spoilers, they do the same thing for movies, but movies are very 
easy the void you know don't watch uh, don't watch the ending the special ending on YouTube or nothing like that but I'm getting off the up I'm getting off subject I'm sorry I think they could pull it off they have the technology they could do it but the the thing is from the United States and the UK is a time difference maybe they could do it early United States for many like three o'clock they gotta have a very easy time time frame then the fans for us United States could watch it but if it's like 5 a.m. you can always watch it on demand okay like they did it not too long ago and I still haven't watched that one I'm sorry I didn't do a review on it I just did a prediction I'm sorry but anyway W could pull it off they just making excuses after excuses after excuses I know you guys think I'm full of crap but it is they could do it Chubbage is a very smart man he's a great performer and I guaranteed I don't think McMahon wants to do it go back to the UK but I think Triple H wants to do it I mean that's why they have, they have all these meetings backstage and behind the scenes hopefully it happens in the future maybe like 20 24 25 maybe of course they gotta make an announcement and people could you know get ready and get pumped up now I was wondering if you live in the United States will you actually save up money to go WrestleMania weekend, Savasri's weekend, the Royal Rumble weekend, or or um, SummerSlam, something the the four classic ones, the four biggest pay per views, United States. You know they could do it. You really think they're gonna have a money bank in UK? I don't know if people want to go go out United States to fly UK. I mean that'd be nice, but apparently it's twice as much money for airfare, the the hotel, the food. Everything's more expensive out of the United States. They're just my wild guess. But I heard from a grapevine that UK fans are more pumped up or really into wrestling than the America, um, the people who love wrestling. I don't know if that's really legit or not legit, you know? I guarantee wherever they're going to hold WrestleMania or any of those big events, the, the, the four classics, the place will will be a sellout crowd. Okay, you got NXT weekend. You know, you got WrestleMania weekend. You got Raw SmackDown, and you got of course the Hall of Fame NXT. You know, that'd be a jam packed. You know, that'd be a very nice ticket. The people who can't can't afford um can't be able to fly out here. They could just do this. This is their dream to go to WrestleMania. But a lot of people say they're earn money to come out here to fly out here you know you meet a lot of great people for WrestleMania weekend you know Sarasvara weekend the Royal Rumble weekend and all of this stuff you know it's getting bigger and bigger you know it's like a Super Bowl for wrestling Triple H Vince please make this happen make the UK wrestling fanatics very happy if not they'd be very very upset okay and don't make it in the same location like Recently, off the record, they went to Orlando back in 08, and then recently they went again. That was very stupid of W. Why well, you can't go to a different location? I think W is just waiting for uh, LA to open their new football stadium whenever that's open. Same thing for Vegas. In the meantime, they're, they're gonna keep rotating until something outbids them. And I guarantee the UK can afford it, in my opinion, and it'd be great for the atmosphere and all that good stuff. What about? Um, other places be besides UK you know I don't know what else you could think of let me know what you think about the article do you think it's possible that UK might have another big pay-per-view for W or do you, think, do you think Triple H is full of crap do you think he's just teasing the UK fans I'm gonna send this I'm gonna sign off here enjoy your rest of your Tuesday like subscribe leave a comment hit the notification please give me some positive feedback about the article and sorry I went a little overboard and I apologize that I talk a little too fast. Hopefully you can understand me. If not, I'm sorry. I'll be back very very soon. Enjoy your rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye. Later.